Speed, agility, and performance are essential components of road racing. To have these traits, riders need a machine that is set up with the right parts to win. However, sometimes factors can slow down or decrease a motorcycle's performance. For riders who find themselves behind their competitors, watch this video about how to make your racing motorcycle go faster to increase your performance and win the race. Subscribe to this channel now so you don't miss any of the action. Exhaust and fueling. Racers like using full race exhaust systems because they don't have to follow the rules for regular street riding. These systems offer significant weight reduction and can enhance engine power through their adjustable features. Numerous companies invest extensive time in research and development to create exhaust systems that deliver the most efficient power and torquey curve for your specific engine. To maximize performance, combine it with a performance air filter, an adaptive fuel mapping system, and a quick shifter. Getting a complete handle exhaust system for my Kawasaki was a total game changer. By complete, I mean header with Evolution Titanium Super Sport muffler with carbon end cap, BMC air filter, and tuning done by my local racing specialized shop known by Rider's Choice. After making these upgrades, my motorcycle transformed into a whole new beast. It became more powerful, responsive, and the engine felt incredibly natural. Weight saving parts. Lighter components play a crucial role in reducing both sprung and unsprung weight. There are multiple ways to achieve weight reduction. For instance, opting for carbon fiber or epoxy race fairings not only ensures durability but also guarantees significant weight savings compared to heavier fiberglass fairings. By switching to lightweight wheels, the motorcycle's rotating mass is greatly altered, enabling it to enter corners later, accelerate quicker, and change direction more effortlessly based on the rider's input. Additionally, using lightweight lithium batteries and lighter chain and sprockets further contribute to shedding pounds from the sprung weight, with the added benefit of reducing rotational mass. Switching to a lightweight lithium-ion battery was the most cost-effective way for me to reduce weight on my motorcycle. Lighter materials can be quite expensive but by making the switch, I immediately noticed a significant difference in how the bike handled through chicanes and turns. A lighter bike feels much more nimble, which is exactly what I like. To further enhance maneuverability, I'm looking to invest in a set of forged magnesium wheel set. Although these can be quite pricey, ranging from six to $15,000 or more, Additionally, I opted for aftermarket lightweight chain and sprockets on both my racing bikes to improve the drive and reduce leg in lower RPMs or at the start of a race. When it comes to my Cowie, I went with a 45 tooth rear sprocket. However, for my Yami, I got a 49 tooth rear sprocket along with a 15 tooth front sprocket. This modification instantly provided the drive I was looking for, making the bike more responsive overall. Furthermore, I have various weight reduction parts, specifically more on my Kawasaki Ninja ZX-6R, and I eliminated unnecessary features such as ABS, horn, signals, and extra wiring. Every gram truly makes a difference in optimizing performance. Use the right tires. Your wheels must have the best quality tires on them. That is the only thing between the ground and your motorcycle, and at a lean angle, the contact patch can be the size of a credit card. It's never wise to use worn out or old tires on the track. Buy your tires new from the trackside vendor and make sure that you are using tire warmers and checking your tire pressures and tire heat before each race. Racing opened my eyes to the importance of quality, sticky tires. Transitioning from DOT to slicks with warmers marked the new chapter in my journey towards victory. The unique design of these tires allowed me to push my riding skills to new heights. 
that I never thought possible with regular tires. I haven't had the chance to try all the different slick options available, but for a few years I used Pirelli SC1 in the front and SC2 in the rear. However, I recently switched to Dunlop slicks provided by my 2023 sponsor, which I also found impressive. The cost of a new set of tires can range from $400 to $600, which typically lasts me a weekend or two depending on my riding style and the bike suspension setup. Upgrade the suspension. Installing adjustable suspension will increase your handling and drive. Handling is key to lap times. A well set up machine will let the bike do what the rider needs it to do. However, adjustability is critical as every track is different. It's important to have an expert handle the installation for a correct setup. When you first see two items on the shelf, one being four times more expensive as the other, you naturally assume that there must be a significant difference between the two. There should be some value to this, and it would be quite surprising if there was no noticeable distinction between the two, especially considering the price disparity. In the case of my Kawasaki ZX6R, it was relatively a new bike with only a few kilometers on it when I decided to switch to Olin suspension. At that point, I was still getting familiar with the bike and the track. As time went on and I started gaining more confidence and speed, I began making adjustments to the suspension. I experimented with various settings such as compression, rebound, and preload. The suspension proved to be an invaluable tool in fine-tuning the bike's performance, both entering and exiting turns. It provided me with a greater level of control, allowing me to effectively respond to different inputs and handle bumps on the track with ease. When I finally received the new Olin suspension, I couldn't help but be amazed at its appearance. The quality and craftsmanship were truly outstanding. It looked like a piece of gold jewelry mounted on my bike. Olins is a Swedish company that develops top-notch suspension systems for the cars, motorcycle, mountain bike, and motorsport industries. The Olins suspension is a special, well-designed system that's been shown to be the top choice in the racing world. The higher price tag of this upgrade, ranging from $7,500 to $15,000 for a brand new set, was justified by performance and enhancements it offered. To ensure a perfect fit, I also got front fork springs specifically rated to match my body weight, along with fresh fork oil and a base setup. With all these elements in place, my bike was ready to hit the track like never before. I made sure to always have a chart with me, constantly making adjustments as needed. While it may never be perfect, you can fine-tune it to reach the recommended settings for optimal performance. This will help reduce any unusual tire wear, ultimately extending the lifespan of your tires and ensuring that your bike handles exactly how you want it to. The bike has been disassembled, with the suspension removed and prepared for shipment to have it resealed and filled with fresh oil. After the forks undergo the necessary servicing, I will begin the process of reassembling the bike ensuring everything is put back together properly. Brakes. Racing relies heavily on the performance of brakes. Due to the speeds and stopping forces that a motorcycle generates on the track, we need brakes that can cope with these rigors. Brake rotors can be thicker and also developed to not overheat, while we need brake pads that can perform at that high temperature. Braided brake lines are necessary as well because, often, OEM lines are rubber and can expand too much under track braking conditions. Upgrading my race bikes involve installing braided lines for improved performance. While on my ZX6R, I opted for a Brembo Frontmaster to ensure maximum stopping power. Additionally, I equipped high friction race compound centered metal brake pads along with Motul 660 high temperature oil to prevent brake fade during intense rides. These modifications are essential for maintaining optimal braking efficiency and safety on the track. Practice and train your body. 
To improve your racing performance and save time on the track, it's essential to make modifications and train regularly. While adjustments to your bike can help, the most effective way to get faster is through practice and training. Pay attention to any patterns in your riding that need improvement. Instead of just riding laps during practice, focus on learning race techniques and applying them on the track. Practice regularly to improve. Also, make sure your body is ready for racing by staying in good shape. Consider attending a superbike school for professional training, where you'll learn skills like cornering and throttle control. Knowing the best lines on the track and mastering techniques like braking and body positioning will greatly enhance your racing performance. Maintain a disciplined training routine to stay fit and maintain a healthy weight. Remember, the fitter you are, the better you'll ride. Once I know the new track well, it doesn't take me long to start feeling comfortable on any layout. I use the knowledge and skills I've gained before to help me adapt quickly. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my other video where I discuss 10 essential motorcycle tips. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, and leave a comment down below. Your feedback means a lot.